Dr. Rahul M. Jindal, transplant surgeon and clinical professor of the Walter Reed Army Medical Center and the George Washington University set up a kidney transplant program in Guyana, South America. He led the team that performed Guyana's first kidney transplant in 2008, which was followed by 10 more kidney transplants. Dr. Jindal's team plans to perform 20 kidney transplants a year. In his book, The Story of the First Kidney Transplant in Guyana, South America, and Lessons for Developing Countries, Dr. Jindal details the experience and discusses how other developing countries can be helped. My role is to provide some hope to the patients because we've done five transplants. Uh, we put peritoneal dialysis catheters, started the peritoneal dialysis program in uh, eight, eight patients. And we did some other surgeries, uh, but when the other patients, the other doctors see that Guyana is being uh, on the lower rung of uh, developing countries can do this, it gives them hope and uh, probably encourages other doctors as well. Our goal is not only to treat a few patients, to do transplants in few, save the lives, but also to prevent diabetes, hypertension, and early detection of kidney disease. So then a person doesn't go into kidney failure, doesn't require dialysis, eventually transfer. And the second part is that there are no scientific studies to know what the incidence and prevalence is. So that requires epidemiological studies, which needs to be done as well. So only then we can say that in a population of one million, you have so many diabetics, you have so many hypertensives, you have so many patients with kidney disease and so on. So this data will be useful for the policy makers because the budget is small and they have to allocate resources, scarce resources. So that is one way. Uh, so it has to be a multi-pronged approach.